Yeah. Wrong I would have, yeah, that's what I was going to I would have alerted yeah. everyone to my presence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of looking out towards the Atlantic, uh, let's talk about quickly about the tropics here because uh, we do have a medium chance for development out here. One of these Cape Verde areas. Uh, long range guidance kind of pulls this out there towards the Lesser Antilles. So definitely something we're going to keep an eye on. We have another area here. This is the one I'm more interested in uh, out towards the Gulf of Mexico. Now, at least at this time, nothing there, but long range guidance does kind of hint at something. So. National Hurricane Center for a seven day outlook. It's giving it a low chance, something we're watching closely. But quickly, you know, we got the Atlantic here, but let's look out to the Eastern Pacific. You got an invest area there. There's one storm. We got another storm here. We got Greg here. There's three. Then we look west. Uh, we actually have the remnants of Dora uh, moving out here towards the uh, northwestern Pacific. And then there's another storm called Lot. So there's like six different areas in the Pacific Ocean. It just kind of confirms that, yeah, we are at the peak or nearing the peak. It's not for a little while longer of uh, hurricane, typhoon season, whatever you want to call it, the northern hemisphere here. And our sea surface temperatures are still well above average. So that area here that I was just talking about in the Gulf of Mexico, um, a lot of energy and I definitely want to keep a very, very close eye on it. Let's come